Hello everybody and welcome to my 16th Microsoft Excel 2013 tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add your own custom styles. Now uh, first of all we need to create ourselves a style so I'm just going to create myself a new header style so uh, I'm going to go highlight these I'm going to go back into format styles uh, and I just want to show you through how to use the different ones in here quickly so I'm going to set my alignment just to normal um, a horizontal alignment is just going to be normal normal uh, and then my font I'm going to put a size 14 now let's go for 12 uh, border uh, I want a border at the bottom so here I'm going to select the color of what I want the border to be I actually want to go for more of a, a combination of these orange and blue so I'm going to go for blue at the bottom I'm going to set to blue similar to that one put that at the bottom uh, and then I'm going to select an um, orange and I'm going to put it at the top uh, and then my fill I'm just going to go into fill effects I'm going to do two colors I'm going to do orange through to blue uh, from the center and uh, press OK and there we go so now I have my customized style uh, and so I just want to make this so that it sits in my styles over here so what we need to do is just select the style that we want the style to be from click on this drop down and go to new styles to style uh, and now you can click on format and you can mess around with these if you want to and change it even more you're back into the same screen um, and then we can select which ones it wants to take on so style I don't want to include the number format uh, and I don't want it to include the alignment format because I want to be able to change these uh, and I also don't want it to change the protection format I just wanted to do the font, the border and the fill so press OK and now when we click on our drop down you will see that in my custom ones at the top I can now use this style again uh, so if I select my head and down here click on my drop down style 1 and it will apply the style and I've got the style now saved so I can use it over and over again across my spreadsheet so if you've got a format you want to set up and use over and over again that's how you do it and it saves you have to do all of them fiddly little options every time uh, that's it for this tutorial in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to do conditional formatting so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you then